Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and it's been a while. Yes, I've been off for a while, but don't worry, I will be back. Anyway, I first want to say a Merry Christmas to all my viewers and also a, a Happy New Year as well. I'll probably explain everything when I do another live stream, but I have been doing stuff on my other channel my wild side channel so you can always check that out but on this channel i had to just stop things for a little while i'll talk about that later on but in this video i want to talk about the james webb space telescope have you heard of the james webb space telescope it's sort of like a successor to the hubble space telescope but not quite because it's a bit different the hubble space telescope as you know has been giving us amazing images for the last i don't know 20 years or whatever since it's been up there and the james webb space Space telescope is a little bit different it's not going to give us those amazing um, artistic images that the Hubble gave us because it's a different type of telescope it's it's more of a kind of a research telescope that's going to use an infrared camera to look deep into the origins origins of the universe and that's what the James Webb telescope I think it will be able to do some good pictures but it is an infrared telescope specifically and the Hubble is more of a it, it could do infrared but it was it, it also could do kind of kind of like normal imaging as well and produce those pretty pictures the James Webb is a little bit different it's been 25 years in the making the James Webb Space Telescope it's got a massive mirror on it whereas the Hubble only had a 2.4 meter mirror the James Webb Space Telescope has a 6.5 meter diameter mirror and that will open up in, it's, in, it's folded up inside the rocket now it's on a rocket now i think it's in french guyana or somewhere like that it's due to go off on christmas day that's tomorrow as i'm filming this and hopefully if you're if you're watching this after christmas day it hopefully will already be up now so anyway yeah like i said it's going to open up the mirror is going to open up when it gets to its part of the orbit because it's that big it has to fold up to get inside the uh, the rocket but also here's another thing as well the JWST, for short, the James Webb Space, Space Telescope for short, is going to go to a completely different orbit that the Hubble went to. It's going to go out to what we call a Lagrange point, and it's going to go out to L2. Now, there are five Lagrange points, and these are all kind of like um, balancing points in space, where you get like a sort of gravity kind of balance between bodies, you know, the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. It's going to go to L2. Now, L2 is a balancing gravity point point in space between earth and the sun so it's going to go around about a million miles away from earth on away from the sun this means that it will sort of orbit happily there but it'll also do like a little orbit around like a sort of counter orbit also as well i'll just show you a graphic on the screen now around that point which will keep it stable in that orbit now the problem there the slight problem is that if anything goes wrong with the telescope if anything goes wrong with it opening up or if it doesn't work properly and it needs something doing to it they won't be able to service it because it will be so far away the hubble was only about what well, i think it was about 400 miles it's in a low earth orbit 400 miles above the surface of the earth the hubble and there was obviously a problem when they sent the hubble remember they had to fix the mirror because the mirror was very slightly out of line so they managed to fix that, but they will not be able to fix the James Webb Space Telescope. If it gets out to that point in space and there's something wrong with it, well, that's 25 years down the drain. Um, yeah, so we really hope that the launch goes well tomorrow or on Christmas Day and that the JWST starts to work, hopefully, and it all goes to plan and it doesn't need anything doing to it, hopefully. If there is anything, hopefully it can all be done remotely. But there you go, that's a James Webb Space Telescope. It's going out on Christmas Day. Hopefully there'll be no last minute cancellations. There's been so many cancellations. Oh, it should have gone out years ago, but never mind. It's going to go out on Christmas Day. And if you're watching this after Christmas Day, hopefully it will get there and there'll be no problems at all. And look out for, for some amazing data i say data because i don't know if it's going to do pictures but we will find out it might be able to do some pretty pictures i don't know we'll have to wait and see but there you go the james Webb space telescope launches on christmas day and i hope you get a chance to follow the launch if it all goes to plan and if i don't see you again before christmas or new year have a very merry christmas and a happy new year i will be back regularly in the new year i'm sure and i will see you then